Uh, yeah, in today's video, I thought we could cover the awesomeness that is multicolored 3D printing and why it's a pain in the ass. Multicolored printing, it's cool, but what's even more cool is multi material printing because now you can have numerous materials interacting with each other, such as PVA supports. You don't have to sit and crack the, the supports off from the object like I had to do with this one. It kind of just melts away. Now this is the Creality CRX, a fairly new dual extruder 3D printer released by Creality and the way this works is by having two extruders pushing filament into one single nozzle and this is a good way of doing it because mechanically there is not a whole lot of moving parts, uh, the calibration is little to non-existent and the amount of plastic wasted is, is moderate. Now this is the second type of dual extrusion you may encounter where you have two extruders, two hotends, two nozzles. The real win with this kind of setup is that you don't need a prime pillar. You don't need to transition the colors the same way so it tends to be faster. The drawback with this kind of system is that the calibration needs to be very dialed in. The distance between the extruders as well as the retraction settings needs to be very dialed in. Okay, as the schmuck I am, I forgot to mention the most important aspect from a dual nozzle system like this where you can have individual temperatures on each nozzle so you can set the right one to 200 degrees and the left one to 260 degrees which will help you printing like PLA and nylon which have very different printing temperatures. In comparison to a single nozzle setup or even the pallet, you may be restricted from only being able to put or set one temperature. All right, Simon out. You wouldn't be able to make this video without mentioning the Palette 2 that is coming out soon. If you don't know, the Palette is a system that makes basically any 3D printer multi-extrusion compatible. But the point I'm trying to make poorly, but here it goes, is that all the three systems have their own set of problems. The Palette 2 can do four colors at once, but the calibration, at least with the Palette Plus, was quite a challenge for me at least. And Instead of a pillar of wasted plastic, it's using a tower, significantly more wasted plastic than with any other system. They are working on solutions for this, which I'm hoping they will better, uh, but it will also be slower because it has to print a lot more plastic. Uh, what all the three systems have in common is the way you prepare your print. What if we wanted to make a panda? We want the arms, the legs, the eyes and the bun up there to be black. Everything else should be white. What do we have to do in order to make that happen? And this is where I think a lot of reviews take very lightly the job to actually do all this because it's not as easy as just working with one color. You will have to actually separate the object into multiple parts. I'm using the free software mesh mixer and ultimately what we want to do is separate the black parts from the model itself and make them separate objects. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the arm and I'm doing so by using the select tool. Uh, what is it? Modify? Smooth boundary? Oh yeah, that's it. Accept and uh, modify, create face group. It was a while since I did this. Mm, I forgot to click split complex. 
And now we do the same for the other arm, the legs, the bun, and the eyes. Let's go. One hour later. And now we have all the parts separated, we can actually start working with them. So you can see I decided to include the ears and the nose as well. So all these parts will be black and the body itself will be white. So now we can bring all these components into Cura or Simplify 3D in my case. And here you can clearly see all the components that has been separated. But in Simplify 3D, what we ultimately want to do is assign what components is going to be printed on the right extruder and what components or component in this case is going to be printed on the left extruder. So we are going to go to tools and do the dual extrusion wizard and choose this CRX final base profile template. It's a great profile to start with. I am going to make that available for you guys to download. That should give you a great head start. And all we have to do now is, okay, I, I've changed my mind. I'm gonna do the final body. That's the uh, white body uh, separated from all the other arms and, and legs and all that. I'm gonna do that on the right extruder, the extruder two on the right of the machine. And uh, we're gonna have the group and align models activated. And if we click OK, that's gonna bring all the uh, all the components together. And if we flip this over, uh, make this uh, 160%, we are pretty much done. Uh, this is the profile that you are going to be able to download. Um, yeah, let's just click prepare to print. Select all the colors and that will present the feature types that we have activated. So you can see the infill and all the parameters, even the pillar tower is being presented. If we go to feature type and do active tool head, you will be able to see the different colors. And all you have to do now is put this on the SD card, bring it to the printer and start it up. Yes, that's the amount of work for a two-colored panda. For the finale, I thought we could stress test the Creality CRX to see how tough it really is and see if we could break it. So I found this incredibly complicated model on Thingiverse and so I brought it into Simplify 3D and thought for myself, no freaking way. One hundred and ten hours, ridiculous time. It's made from almost two thousand layers, and every layer requires a color transition sequence. That's thirty seconds of the machine just transitioning between the two colors. Two thousand layers times thirty seconds. That's seventeen hours of just transitioning the colors. These things takes time, but that is pretty crazy. Okay, I hope you learned something about dual extrusion on a 3D printer. I hope you learned something about the CRX and I hope you enjoyed this video. So have an awesome day. Bye.